Hello everyone, welcome to monthly forecast reading. This is for the sign of Sagittarius. So sorry for the delay, but I want to finish this series because someone who watches this video will definitely have some important message for them. If you are attracted here and you are watching this video, maybe there is something important for you. And if you want to have a personal reading with me, visit my website astrolog.com. The link is given below. So the very first card is about your overall message and then we have something to do with your career in the second card, something to do with your love life in the third card. So the overall message is inspiration. I'm receiving divine inspiration right now. So what I'm feeling seeing this card here is that you are spiritually connected at very higher level you are somewhere beyond your peers somewhere all the people around you who claim that they are spiritually connected they are connected but they are connected from a lower space you are connected with your spiritual guide or the universal consciousness from a space which is quite elevated, quite higher compared to others. And there is a trick going on some, and you will fall for that trick. So be a little careful because it does happen when you are so spiritually evolved. What happens is that uh, you get into your ego consciousness that I'm supreme, I, I am uh, better and I can be a commander of all the good and bad things of my life. I can govern anything and I can do miracles. That kind of feelings come. I just want to remind you that you are still a human right now in this life form. And don't uh, get into that trap because each this has happened to you multiple times. That's what they're saying. And you have fallen for this trap and you have taken a leave from all your positive and negative emotions. And you have hold it on to your spirituality to only to grow again to a little more higher consciousness than where you were past in the past. So each time you, you fall down, you try to get up and move to a higher level of consciousness. You achieve that and again your he ego hits you like anything. So you do this independently without anyone's help and you fall down. But this time what they are saying is that don't get into that trap, be balanced, have control over your emotions, which is quite easy for you with the kind of experiences you had in the past. That's what they are saying. And they are saying that you will celebrate the spiritual success that you are uh, feeling right now. Only thing is that don't fall for that ego because that ego will play tricks with you. Your career message, there is a very important breakthrough. There is some kind of celebration. There is a, a star shining on you, some evening star, which is bringing luck to you right now. And because of that, you will get celebration situations in your life. And you'll see that because of the success, there is some kind of acceptance that you are gaining from all your peer members. You are <coughs> getting some kind of acceptance and there are important people in your life who wants to shower uh, new ideas, maybe promotion, they want to give you increment. But you, on the other hand, are very varied about like last time something like this happened and they gave you a lot of success, uh, promotions and uh, increments and all you were quite happy with that and you your ego consciousness was uh, very happy with that but this time you are more grounded and you take everything with a pinch of salt that this is all 
Maya and it is all uh, a play. It is not what you are seeking. Although you have to go with the flow because you have to live in this world and this is how the world functions. But then you are spiritually more balanced and you will not fall for all those things which will bring some kind of big sudden change in your life, in your career. Open up some hidden prospects that you were not able to see in the past which will help you to identify your strength and yeah the ego part is also coming back and will bring new opportunities which you always wanted something that you always wanted and then this <laughs> uh, uh, you will okay uh, then see uh, i have to give you some context here before saying what i want to say next oh, the world is almost like a roller coaster ride. You want to achieve something, you reach there and they make you feel so special that you feel that this is your birthright. You can, you always were here and you have to go to the next level and you act in a very erratic way and they show you your reality and they push you down. Then you work hard, you come back to the next uh, previous level and the next level and next level and then sometime in future they'll again you will get that ego trap so uh, what they're saying is that once you overcome your ego and you feel that now i have overcome my ego and i'm spiritually enlightened that's when again a new opportunity something that you always wanted for you will come to test your ego again and it will bring you so much of material gains and wealth that you will feel trapped. So uh, September is the month for reflection because you will anyhow have breakthroughs, but then you have to see that, uh, have a very long-term plan. You have to create a very long-term plan because you this success will bring attract even bigger successes. That's what they're telling. But then uh, ego manipulation and escaping the ego trap is something that is very important for you and you need to have a spiritual plan for that and each one of you will have a very different spiritual plan but nevertheless on a very grounded level and very human level which we all are congratulations a lot a big breakthrough a big success is coming on your way Voyages is the card for love and what I'm seeing here is that you are moving forward in your love life also. Somewhere things were struck in the past, now things are moving forward. And why this five of wands is coming back again and again? Okay, for you, the five of wands is uh, a card which is saying that in the past things were quite tough in terms of relationship you possibly had a big drama going on between you and your partner if you are already in a relationship but now the egos are satisfied especially your ego is satisfied and you want to withdraw from the egoistic involvement and move forward with this relationship to make a decent uh, partnership uh, living condition for yourself and your partner is also somewhere in that direction right now because uh, they see a big change in you and they are a little more worried and they are curious what happened to you and they are uh, going with the flow with you and you are going in the right direction to overcome all those emotional problems and if you are single and trying to find a love life for yourself you are letting go of your past egos which uh, because of which you possibly never looked at people who were uh, quite good for you you somehow rejected them with because of your ego and now uh, because the ego is not actively there what i'm seeing here is that you are moving forward in life taking new risk in finding new relationships if and you are getting in a healthy relationship and you are starting a new life with someone 
and if you are already in a relationship again you are taking a new attitude which is not full of ego and which is making you move forward very quickly in a balanced relationship and future looks quite positive at least for next one one and a half year your future looks quite possible and then it depends on what you make out of this relationship in next one one and a half year and that's where it will lead in future so that's your reading thank you so much for watching this video thank you and namaste